As a continuing part of my quest to look at old maps, I want to take a look at Scream.wad, a puzzle map apparently released on the 12th of May 1994. Shoutouts to Demo Gorgonzola who suggested this to me. I was asking for suggestions for old slaughter maps, and there is a section in this map that does have slaughter, but I would say that more so this is a puzzle ward, and it was actually really fascinating to play. The map's author is a Cameron Newham, who it would appear is a fellow Australian, so how's it going? The puzzles are actually quite fiendish and well designed and varied for something that was made so early in Doom's custom mapping scene. I just want to highlight a couple of things he said in the text file before we get into the playthrough. Scream incorporates some rather nasty puzzles which you will have to solve to complete the level. There are clues and you will have to use your eyes and brain as well as your trigger finger. By the way, to complete this level successfully you should end up with a kill ratio of about 90%. Not all of the monsters have to be killed, smiley face. If you can do 100%, good luck to you. You are a true doom.god. I assume that dot's a typo. So with that in mind, let's jump straight into the playthrough. Okay, this is going to, have to be a slightly different playthrough to what I would normally do in these maps. Uh, usually I would just do a UV Max single segment, but because this is a puzzle map, I will probably have to use some saves and loads and some restarts in this beginning room just to be able to show you the puzzles being failed and then the puzzles being done successfully. So, yeah, there probably will be some saves and loads, but fear not, I will still prove that I can be a doom.god. Uh, but that's a long way from now. First, let's take a look at each of the puzzles. So in this room here, pretty interesting setup. There's some weird hole up here, and then over here is sort of clearly where you need to go. But if we come here... Oh dear. Uh, we're kind of trapped. And this existing pole? Nothing happens. Can't be lowered. Okay, so I guess we have to lower this. Okay, well we get a rocket launcher, but now we're being ambushed and, uh, uh, can I be let out, please? Yeah, well, guess what? You're stuck now. If you're in this position, you may as well restart the whole map, because even if you kill the Cacodemons, you're stuck. There is no getting out of this cage. And yes, I've confirmed that with Doom Builder. So all these puzzles that we get to that I'll be talking about, I've confirmed it all with Doom Builder, so I'm not just, you know messing up because I wasn't able to figure it out. I went and looked it up. So, how do you actually get through this initial room? Well, the way I figure it is this. Quickly do that, grab the rock launcher right back. You have to run in here. That lowers the thing over here, and now we're good. How you were meant to figure that out, I have no idea. A lot of trial and error, I would say. Anyway, we get some goodies here. So let's grab these up, and I guess we've got to get these guys off our tail. Can't be having cacodemons bother me while I, uh, you know, go to the next puzzle. And besides, we've got to get at least 90% of the kills on this map, right? That's the standard. So we shouldn't miss any that are relatively free. As for that starting room, yeah, like I say, how you were meant to figure that out, and like, you had to run in there. So there is the arrow to suggest to you, see, that you should go there. And this, like, corner pillar here, that was always up, does lower from the side. I can't jump down there now because I can't get to the switch anymore. There's no way back in, I don't think. Uh, it may be that you can lower this pillar and get back to the switch, but at this point, why do that? So yeah, crazy start room. Let's move on. Oh, but we need the red key. Well, this one's a really simple puzzle, actually. It's just your classic, classic doom. Wall humping will lead the way. Nice unpegged texture, by the way. Hey, by the way, there's no tag secrets in this map, but I guess, you know doesn't really matter, because back in Vanilla Doom, where this would have certainly been played, you wouldn't have got a secret notification anyway, so it makes sense. Alright, so if you had missed the rocket launcher, you do at least get another one now. And well, there's a Cacodemon, let's go get him. Whoops! A couple of Barons, the Bruiser Brothers, just to ruin our day. This room here is kind of like a fight, so I can see why this map was suggested to me in the Slaughter series for a couple of reasons, which I will obviously point out when we get there. Uh, but there is just some fighting to be done in this map. But okay, here we are in this very ominous hellish room with like the barrel coffin with the cross. There's no way to go here, and well this is it. So once again we're sort of faced with a uh, seeming dead end. 
And I say seeming because there are actually several ways to go from here. So I'm going to do my first save. Boom. You can hear an imp. So there's got to be some way out of here, right? Well, remember I was talking about classic wall humping? If you look down here, you can see there is just that little bit of wood at the bottom here. And well, here is in what, in my opinion, is the most obvious way to go. This is the first way that I found. I did actually play this map for real before ever opening it in Doom Builder, and I did have a go at it all and figured out quite a few of the puzzles on my own. But had I known this was a puzzle map when starting it, I might have treated it pretty differently, but I came into this thinking it was going to be a bit of a slaughter map. Anyway, now there are several more ways to go. This hallway with the pretty cool lighting, trying to approach these walls here and here. These walls with the different texture don't open. Whoop. As you can see, these walls do if you approach them. Some pretty cool old effects. Oh, well, thank you very much for the cells. We're actually on the other side of the slime now. And a pretty ominous looking wall here saying, well, no people allowed. Is it worth trying this as a door? Let's save. You certainly can open it. And this is the room that I'm pretty sure Demo Gorgonzola was referring to as Slaughter. Indeed, this is quite a slaughtery looking fight. Uh, but if you take note of my ammo and weapons that I have, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> I ain't ready. We are not ready. That's quite a lot of Cacodemons, and yeah, the Cyberdemon will help, but he won't help with that many. So, we're kind of screwed now. Because if I stand back here and shoot, it still wakes everything up. And they will just start following us around the map, and I don't have anywhere near enough ammo to deal with them. So, yeah, coming in here this early is definitely a mistake. So you know what we're going to do? Load the game. You don't want to do that. <laughs> Excuse me. However, there were a couple of barrels just here. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Using the map to help myself. Here! You need a yellow key to get in there. So there is that option as well, but you need the yellow key. So... What you could do is try and go down here or here. Pretty cool. Let's have a look in here. There's some imps. And yes, there's some pinkies. And you get given shells, but then... Hang on, I don't even have a shotgun yet. Uh, I guess we've got a couple of rockets, but then... Oops. Now what? There's imps and I'm not berserked. And pinkies. Do we want to come in here this early? Uh, there's a mega armor. Ooh, a plasma. And a teleporter to take us there. Yeah, I'll ignore these signs. Hey, oh, yeah, not a good idea at all. Let us load again. So, you don't want to go there, and you probably don't want to come in here yet. You'd rather find some stuff. Let's just check down here. Door opens as we approach. And, okay. Once again, quite a few too many enemies for the guns and ammo I have. Let's just try and run past them and see what's in here then. Eee, I can't even get in the door. Oh. Well then. This needs a blue key. This doesn't open. We just have a whole bunch of switches to try. Um, Starting with this one, I guess. Uh, oh dear. That's opened up a bunch of cacodemons quickly. More switches. Oh, the cacodemons, quick. Just press all the switches. What the... Yep. Yep, you have to know exactly which switches to press. You do not want to be randomly pressing switches. And these two cyberdemons here are why Cameron Newham said, you're a doom.god if you can UV max this map. So with all that knowledge, now I can pretty much just play the map the way that I know how to. In fact, I could start again from the very, very start and do like a proper UV single segment run from there. But I think you guys get the idea, right? You can see that loading this save, I'm basically doing that anyway. So, in this room, there's actually a lot more options for where you can go. And this room is quite memorable. A checkerboard of teleporters. Clearly, you want to go over there, but how? Uh, let's go. Yep, you just randomly teleport around without much hope of getting there. You could, obviously, theoretically, just constantly teleport around until you finally got it right. But more often than not, you'll eventually just get sent back up here. How on earth do you get through there? Well, I'm about to show you, but first, let's just have a look where the barons were. Here is a nice early shotgun. Very, very handy. Now we could actually go and take on the rooms over there. But before even that, 
I want to show you this room. So these aren't actually teleporters. This is a clue that the whole reason to come in here is because you're going to get a clue about the teleporter room. Pretty dark, but there's a med kit, right? Whoop. Turn left. Turn left, eh? With the teleporters here as a clue. What does it mean? Well, what it means is always when you're on these teleporters, go to your left. There's also one little more bit of obscurity to this puzzle. See how the teleporter on the very right here, if you look very carefully, has a different symbol to the pentagram on all the other ones? This is the one that you ideally should start with. And now if I constantly just strafe left, 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 left again, I think you get the idea, left. That's how you get through. Pretty damn cool. Now let's save again. Because, well, here's a teleporter. I guess we go in here. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Okay. But now we're just stuck in amongst all these barrels. There's no way to get over to that switch or the yellow key without shooting the barrels. But can you do it and get out of there in the teleporter in time? Well, actually, you probably can. But that's not necessarily the way you need to do it. Let's see if I can. Hup. Yeah, that is one way to do it. That actually kind of breaks the puzzle, to be perfectly honest. I didn't intend for that. Let's load the game, because this is the way that I th I'm sure it was actually intended. You can open the wall here, and by coming around here... I also got very lucky with the shotgunners, like if they shot the barrel. But we get these barrels on this side, so I can go... Hup, and take them out like that. Here is where you would also get a shotgun, but we also get the yellow key and a switch to press. No feedback yet, but trust me, that was important. Okay, and now we're finally done with here. And oh yeah, the switch has the side effect of raising the slime. Let's go and take on this area properly because now I have a shotgun. Plenty enough ammo to actually deal with these foes. And of course, I have the yellow key. And the red key. So a lot more options in this map have opened up to us. Okay, is that... Yeah, I knew there was a couple more of these guys. And we know that taking that teleporter over there was not the way to get the plasma rifle. So now I'm going to show you how you actually do. And I mean, the teleporter is marked. I made a joke before and just ignored it, but it's pretty much saying to you, don't go in this teleporter. So you may notice the wall's a bit funny here. Well, just here is a switch, which opens another teleporter. And now, plasma. Very cool. And then this sends us back to this teleporter, but on the, you know, friendly side of it, not the wrong side of it. Remember with the yellow key, we can go in here, which I definitely will do. Because besides a few cacodemons, there's an excellent reward in here. And I'm just going to show you what it is, but I'm probably not going to grab it just yet, though. Which might seem a bit funny. Why would I come in here now? Well, it's mainly just to take out the cacodemons and to show you that it exists, but I'm also doing it this way around to show you that there's a slight puzzle element to this. So, yep, you can probably see it in the dark now. Lots of cells and a BFG. So, it should make very short work of the slaughter room. And even those cyber demons in that switch room, right? But I don't have a backpack yet, and so we want full ammo to be dealing with picking up all those so we don't waste a thing. So, let's deal with all these guys. We'll just avoid, basically, the... Uh, oh, that imp took itself out with the barrel. Very nice. Take these barrels out because there are puzzles in this room. So I kind of rushed through it before, pretending to do, like, a real play through of the map. But there is lots to this room. Lots. I'm getting end in a bit here. I'm running out of ammo. I'm just trying to use as little cells as possible is what's really going on. But I will, of course. So you get the job done because there are plenty and I really hope I do actually get through this map in true UV Max style. Because it is possible to get a little bit tight on ammo, but you saw how much there was next to the BFG there, right? Right, now I won't be bothered. All these imps down here are just... I don't know. There's not really any, like, reason for them other than to just sort of be there, strangely. Ah, oh, you managed to avoid the barrel. Not good for you. So... That's all of them gone. Yeah, it's just this weird, like, raising, lowering thing with imps. Right. If you had a really, really keen eye, you might have noticed there's a switch here. that lowers where these imps were. And now, 
Hmm, what's going on here? Well, it's pretty obvious that you should be shooting the barrel to your right. And so, what that does is sends a bunch of barrels around here. It goes through a teleporter and blows up those barrels up there. And then this lowers. And now we have to get the hell in here this one time. Because it will never do that again because there's no more barrels to shoot. And a reward is a backpack, but there's even more of a reward than just that. Also, this text is not pegged, so it looks kind of funny until suddenly... Hey, cool. Oh, and if you had a really astute eye, you may have noticed this uh, red pillar here. And an even more astute eye, the blue keys on it. So, of course, we want all of that. But, yeah, you have to go in there that one chance you get. Because there's no more barrels to let you back in. And you don't want to fall down here. This is an inescapable pit. So, now... More has happened. By going into the shotgunner room and by going into the backpack room... We've turned off the lights on the switches we don't want to press. So, we just want to press that. And that. And you know what that does? It lowers the blue key. And if you remember correctly, there was that metal wall in there, which is the door. Well, it's a blue key door, and we now have the blue key so we can progress. No pit of cacodemons, no cyber demons. And so that pit of cacodemons and the cyber demons is... Pretty obviously, I think, what Cameron Newman is referring to when he's saying you should really only need to get 90% kills. Unless you're a true Doom.God. And these passages, dark passages we're in now, are just, you know, ones that take us back here. This is what these uh, misaligned textures were all about. And if we come to here, we're next to there. I hear another imp. Guess it doesn't really matter. And the last little bit of the map. To our left is the exit. It's not marked, but that's it. That's how you leave. And to our right is a baron. So it's like one last little sort of trap. Ideally, you want to just not bother with the baron because there's no reward behind him. But I'm trying to be a doom dot god. So nothing there. And we could leave, but there's still this room of slaughter, which Cameron Newham reckons you should be trying to take out, right? 90% of the kills. Let's go and stock ourselves up on ammo, and do it. Okay, I'll leave those because I don't want to waste the 25 or the 75 cells. And, well, here we go, I guess. We want the Cyber Demon to do as much damage as possible, and to use as few cells here as possible. So, I'm just going to let these Cacodemons keep coming and leave myself standing here so that the Cyber Demon is constantly firing. I think I have to fight back now. And just be very, very careful. Unless there's like a really strong meat shield in front of me like right now, be super careful about stray rockets. Come on, Cyber Demon, I really hope you're doing work. I thought this guy was probably still alive. So I really want to stay where the Cyber Demon can see me. Okay, he's shooting, but I think it's going okay. Okay, rockets us do sound like they're sort of making it through now, so I might come over here. And I did waste quite a bit of my own health, but there's lots of med kits around the map. Okay, so this is my cell count now. We want to try and really keep as much of it as possible. And given that I have to deal with the cyber demon, let's just try and heal up a little bit. Yeah, he's busy. And, oh yeah, he can't come follow us, so that's okay. Is that it for... Yeah. Oh no, there's a medkit right there. Thank God for that. Come on. Oh, come on. This door is becoming a puzzle. Alright, it looks like I kind of have to... Let's just go try and deal with the Cyber Demon. Okay. Can you fight that Cacodemon, please? Just gotta be careful of these torch decorations. Oh, well, Cacodemon, you did not do a very good job there. That was an awful shot, and I was saying I need to keep as many cells as possible. There we go. That was actually quite a nice follow-up to my first awful shot. And you, well, I'm definitely gonna use this, and then hopefully as few of these as possible. Perfect. Because I think you can probably see where I'm going with all of this now. We're going to grab this and become a Doom.God. Let's go. 
Oh, yep, comp level zero, so it just made a little donut sound. Oh, you're kidding. Why have you gone in here? Okay, and I do happen to know the switch that ideally we want to press is just the one in the corner. Or not, that's the Cacodemons. Oh yeah, and we do not want to fall down into this little pit where the Cyberdemons are, because you can't get back. And this is why I wanted as many cells as possible, so that we have enough to finish off everybody. And there you go, there's 100% of the kills. I am officially a Doom.God. Pretty cool little puzzle map. Remember, this is made all the way back in 94. Relatively mid-94. So yeah, really cool, actually. I enjoyed this puzzle map a lot. I think the little turn left bit with the teleporters is really cool. The way that the switches can be sort of narrowed down by turning the lights off, by finding all the different puzzles before that. Really cool. The slaughter room, it was slaughter. It's like the technically the earliest example of slaughter I've come across so far. It was... um. A pretty good map all around, so pretty fun. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, I like puzzle maps as well as slaughter maps, so if you think you know of any earlier puzzle maps, let me know. Um, but yeah, that wasn't really, you know, this came across uh, my desk, so to speak, by accident, but thank you for the suggestion, Demo Gorgonzola. And yeah, I'm basically just using this series as an excuse to go look at cool old maps and just explore the origin of some of these old ideas, because I just think it's a bit of fun, you know? Nostalgia, history, all that kind of thing. It's just fun. Anyway, like I say, I hope you enjoyed that little look at Scream.Wod, and let me know if you want to see me do any other old maps in the comments. I'm out now. Peace.